so this video is going to be a little bit different. Um, this is going to be how we executed Daniel's birthday party. Um, we do a lot of things ourselves. Uh, we've been in hospitality for 10 years. Um, I love crafting and baking. Um, I don't have a whole lot of talent for this stuff, so I make it as super simple as I possibly can. Um, so this is just everything we did um, to get ready for the party. Um, it just because the final result looks awesome, um, personal opinion, uh, doesn't mean that there weren't any tears um, from me uh, in the process. Um, it is hard, it's a lot of work, um, but I would do anything for my kids and I wanna give them um, super special memorable birthdays. Um, so yeah. Even in the hard times, you and I can weather any storm. All right guys, welcome to our guest room slash home office slash where I get and put all the stuff before we have a birthday party. So this room is going to become chaotic in the next couple days. I don't like spending a whole lot of money on stuff on Etsy that I love. I pretty much use like Etsy as like inspiration. Um, so I like to make my own things to save a lot of money. So um, this is a high chair we got from the ReStore uh, when Landon turned one. Um, we painted it and then I sanded it to rough it up. Um, it's been sitting in the garage collecting dust for five and a half years. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's time to transform it into, uh, the one-year-old chair, the, the smash cake chair. <laughs> I went to Hobby Lobby. They had 50% off all their ribbon. So all of this ribbon was $6, which is amazing. Um, ribbon is expensive. So I found that. And then I made these little banners. My inspiration um, was like a $25, $30 high chair banner. That's a lot of money to spend on something that'll get destroyed. So um, yeah, here we go guys. Let's make this, uh, this little banner for this uh, high chair. So after I threaded the banner through the ribbon, uh, I went ahead and put some scotch tape on it to secure it to the high chair and then I pre-cut all of my ribbon so I could go ahead and just tie on and organically place it where I thought it looked good. All right guys, the second side is done. I'm going to uh, tie it to the chair and use some more scotch tape. Um, I just made it match the other side, easy enough. All right guys, next on the list. We're gonna turn these paper lanterns into golf balls. How are we gonna do this? I have printed logos and I'm going to somehow tape them on there. We'll figure this out together. Attempt number one, Elmer's glue. Well, that actually might stay on there. Doesn't look too shabby. Welcome back to another episode of Baking with Rachel at Really Weird Hours. It's 9.30. Evan's laughing at me right now because I bake at really weird hours because the kids are asleep right now. No one's going to bother me. No one's going to try to crack an egg and get the entire egg into the bowl. As much as I love Landon's creativity and I want him to work on his baking abilities and his cooking abilities. I just don't have time. Daniel has his birthday party in two days and I have a lot to do, so let's get started. Okay, so I get my recipes from Sally's Baking Addiction. If you haven't baked anything from her, bake this cake. It's her, what's it called? What exactly? Triple chocolate layer cake. I made Daniel a box cake because it was in the pantry from the pandemic and I guess I bought it when I thought I needed to buy make cake in case. Um, that cake was terrible. Never buy box cake. Make this cake. It's not that hard. It's delicious. 
So Sally's baking addiction, triple chocolate layer cake. Make it, I, this is like my third or fourth time making it. It's amazing. Here beside you to catch you if you fall. And deep and abide Liking for you is all I need. Laugh at me. I can only have if I want to eat. It's been my dream to have a cooking show. And it's come true, Evan. Sin, I will do everything I can for you. Now I'm going to bake for about 20 minutes. These aren't the size she puts in the recipe, so I'm just gonna keep checking on them and see how they are. Um, when a toothpick comes out clean, they're ready. <laughs> Still cooking. Still cooking at 11.30 at night. But no one's bothering me, except for Evan. Just kidding, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's um, gotta hold the camera. Someone's gotta hold the camera. Um, okay, so last thing we're doing tonight is our cakes are cool. We are going to put the frosting between the layers, do the creme coat, put all of our amazing chocolate buttercream on the inside, on the outside, and try not to eat any of it at 11 o'clock at night. Says you. Says me, which is probably not gonna happen. Um, so I'm just using, I need some. <laughs> it's really good. You don't have the Kohler jeans where uh, it keeps you awake all night on chocolate. Mm, it does not keep me awake. Mm, and I could eat this entire cake and be perfectly fine. You will grow up in the blink of an eye and move out and be on your own. But no matter what comes your way, I will stay right here beside you to catch you if you Okay, so can you put the butter? We're gonna make the frosting, the icing. We put the butter in. Yep, and the butter's in here. And then we need powdered sugar. Yep, so that's how we make donuts too. That's how you make donuts? With the powdered sugar on? Yep, and, and, and the all, all other stuff. Yeah, there's other stuff too. Can you tell me when to put it in? Uh -huh. And then you're scraping it off. Yep, and making a mess, but that's okay. Yeah, because we can clean it up. I'm gonna pull it in. Perfect. Oopsie. Put a little extra in this. <laughs> a little extra. Okay, pour that in. <laughs> what are you doing over there? Are you eating your lunch? We're going to put a little milk extra in there. Okay. We made in. it a little mess, but that's okay. We can clean it up. Uh, uh, while that's mixing, we get to do the fun part. So mommy made a cake last night. Did you pop her? Baby pop um, Thanks for making popcorn for us, baby. <laughs> yeah. So we have the cake we made last night, and here's the fun part. What is your one? Tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> tell me. Will you tell me, tell you? Yeah, tell me. We get to break the cake. <laughs> In case anyone's wondering why I like to bake crazy early in the morning or crazy late at night, it's because it's a chaos that happens. Okay, so now we're gonna make our cake balls. Cake balls. Gonna, so we need to, this is a tablespoon. We're gonna make sure that that's gonna fit our molds for our cake balls. So that might be too big. So let's, so let's 
try. Let me try something real quick. No, no, no. So if I do one of these and I roll it in a bowl. Okay. Well, I'm gonna just see if this is the right size. That's probably the right size. Yep, it is. So you're gonna scoop it and then we're gonna roll it. Here, how about I scoop and you roll it? These, they have to be refrigerated for two hours and then we can turn them into cake pops, I hope. The next phase is to make the buttercream frosting for the decoration for the cake. Yep, we have to find the decoration for the cake. I'm gonna make the decoration can for the I, cake. Can I, can I, can I? When I get it, yes. I, I gotta I gotta make make some more frosting. We are using so much better. I have probably used Wait, probably two cups of butter at this point, probably more, actually, no. Probably used four cups of butter. <laughs> this is healthy. <laughs> Boys, the next step is to test which color we like better. We need it to look like grass. So I have Kelly green and leaf green. So I'm going to take a little frosty from both, just a little bit, and then... Decorate in time? Well, we have to figure out which color we like better. It might be both. This one's <laughs> called Kelly Green. Yeah. And this one is called Leaf Green. Yeah, what's in Leaf Green? Which I think Leaf Green looks better. I think it looks more realistic. Weren't broken misunderstandings and words unspoken. We fall apart, and I won't dare to say, Do you feel the same way? It's we finished the cake ish, almost. We've got a little bit more detail, but the icing is done. You can, can have, eat all the icing. Not all the icing. You can have a little bit of icing because otherwise you'll turn green. All right, guys. Uh, see you when we finish the cake pops. <laughs> all right, guys. It's cake pop time. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. So our cake pops have been in the fridge for twenty or for two hours. Yeah, and um, I ate one. And he ate one. So right now we are going to dip um, our um, cake pop sticks into the um, candy melts. We're gonna stick them in our cake pops to secure them and uh, yeah, do this process all these times or as many times as I have sticks. All right guys, I am finally done with the cake, finally done with the cake pops. Uh, I started this at 10 a.m. It is 8.30 at night. This is the cake, super adorable. And that's a cake pop on top. And then these are all of our cake pops. Yeah, what is all of this is? Looks like grass. Uh huh, looks like grass. And these are our cake pops that look like yeah, we balls. Ate, and there was some a little too much, right? Yeah, we made a lot. So <laughs> this is the box of cake pops that did not turn out. Yeah, so um, we can eat that. A lot of them have Didn't like, turned out very good. like part of part of the the cake pop missing. And like this one, you can see it's like, it's uh -huh. missing part of it. <clears throat> so there's the fridge telling me to put these back. It. And uh, so yeah, the baking part is done. Um, then we have to decorate tomorrow. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Why do I like put myself? Tomorrow, to Daddy's now. The day one oh, was okay. So, so tomorrow, Mom can pick me up <laughs> yeah. so they can see. <laughs> so tomorrow, um, if we're going to um decorate and then get all the party stuff set up. 
and set up the golf course outside. We'll have a golf course? Yeah. Whoa! We, are, we, we got all the stuff and we made some stuff. Mm -hmm. Bye! Goodbye! Goodbye, 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 <laughs> goodbye! Daniel's birthday party day. Um, so we have to do some decorations. We have already baked everything, um, put some food together, and yeah, I try to get all the the prep food work done before the day of the party so I can just put everything together. So let's get started. <music> So this is the final product. I think the golf ball lanterns turned out really well. Uh, we made club sandwiches, um, pretzels as golf clubs. Uh, we had um, our golf cake pops and cake birdies, uh, which were chicken nuggets, fruit wedge, um, pastries, chip shot, potato chips, and sand trap uh, Rice crispy treats. We have everything set up for Daniel's birthday party. Party. Um, so let's sh show you around. Uh, the most fun part is our putting area. So we've got baby putt putt over here. We've got adult and big kid putt putt. We're not putt putt, but we've got a chipping area. Here, show them how it's done. Oh gosh. Oh, okay. you do it. And then my amazing mother in law made a personalized uh, golf flag for the, for the party. <laughs> We're so clever. We love our Pinterest, my friends. So, yeah, that's the uh, outside. Daniel had a fantastic birthday. Uh, we are actually going to keep the golf uh, holes in the backyard permanent. Um, but yeah, this was so much fun to put together despite it being extremely stressful. Uh, thanks for joining us, guys. Even in the hard times, you and I can weather any storm.